computer. I'll play the piano. And I got blue hair. Ha! Me, I the piano. Is everything all right in here? Yes, Nanny. Yes, a little tadpole. Take some time and get to know him. I'll be back in a little while. But be sure and take good care of him. He's very young and very delicate. And very yucky. Yeah, and very pitiful. He doesn't even have any hind legs. Oh, yucky. Shush. He is not yucky. He's adorable. Just like his Uncle Kermie. Uncle Kermie? I never asked to be an uncle. Kermit, nobody asks to be an uncle. 
Your big sister had babies. That makes you an uncle, and the babies are your nieces and nephews. Oh, that's different. Hello there, little nephew Robin. I'm your Uncle Kermit. Boy, what a big slug. I wonder if I will look like that when I grow up. Ew, what's that? It looks like a blue banana with eyeballs. Ah, oh, he's just a baby. I bet we can't even play with him without breaking him. I wonder what he's thinking. He can't think. He's too young. Huh? A two-headed monster. I wonder what it's thinking. It probably wants to eat me. I know, Kermit. Your nephew Robin would probably love to hear one of my funny jokes. I don't think he'll understand your jokes, Fuzzy. But then none of us ever do either. So go ahead. Here's one you'll just love, Robin. Why are fish so smart? Give up? Because they swim in schools. Get it? <laughs> oh, yuck! No, no, Robin. You shouldn't spit water when Fozzie tells you a joke, no matter how bad it is. <laughs> Poor little Robin. Did Kermy Wormy scare you? One day you and I might have a little tadpole of our own. Wouldn't that be nice, Kermit? Oh, uh, gee, I am, uh, uh... Wouldn't it? Right. Sure, Piggy. And we can rock our little Hollywood and tell you sweet stories like Piggy in Wonderland. You mean Alice in Wonderland, don't you? If I meant Alice, I would have said Alice, you nerd. <sighs> she called me a nerd. Oh, next thing you know, I'll be the nerd of her dreams. That blue one is weird. Now, where was I? Oh, yes. Piggy in Wonderland. You look at the pictures, Robin, while I tell you the story. Once upon a time, there was a beautiful young piglet named Piggy. Alice. Button and blue beak. Yes, sir. I mean, uh, ma'am. <laughs> Piggy was looking at a picture book when all of a sudden a little tadpole popped up out of the river. Oh, my! Oh, my goodness. That little tadpole wants me to follow him. And so, Piggy followed the little tadpole down its tadpole hole. Oh, I'm falling! Hold everything! You're not telling the story right, Piggy. The pictures show Alice chasing a white rabbit down a rabbit hole, not a tadpole hole. I say it's a tadpole, and he went down a tadpole hole. And if you don't want to wind up stuffed in a weirdo hole, you'd better keep quiet. Good point. I wish they'd stop fighting and get back to the story. Where was I? Oh, yeah, Piggy was falling down the tadpole hole. Oh, dear! How will I ever slow down? like my 
my jokes, don't you? <laughs> Nobody's forcing you to watch, you know. And so, Piggy and the little tadpole continued their wonderful journey through Wonderland. Hey, what happened to Wonderland? Uh, I think you forgot to turn the page, Piggy. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Who are you? I'm Skeeter D. And I'm Scooter Dumb. Wait a minute, I'm not dumb. I must be Scooter D, and you must be Skeeter Dumb. No way, you're dumb. No, I'm not, I'm smart. Who's talking about brains? I'm talking about your name, dummy. Oh, so now I'm Scooter Dummy. Why don't you make up your mind, Skeeter Dizzy? Skeeter Dizzy, am I? Well, you're a Scooter Nerdy. Then why don't you go play with someone else, Skeeter Cheater? Why don't you go clean a drain, Scooter Rooter? Skeeter Bug Eater? That's better. Sheesh. If this is what it's like to grow up, I don't know if I wanna. Now, where was I? Oh, yes. As Piggy and the little tadpole moved through the strange land, it wasn't long before they came upon a strange white wall. I wonder what this is. What does it look like? It's a piano. Oh, and you must be Humpty Dumpty. No, Rofy Wolfy is the name. Music's my game. Only I haven't been able to play since I got this terrible cold. Uh, 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 uh oh, here it comes again. Rofy Wolfy sat on the keys. Rofy Wolfy made a great sneeze. <laughs> are right at home in high places. Haven't you ever heard of tree frogs? Hear me, sweetie. I'm not talking about tree frogs. I'm talking about Robin. Catch my drift. I'll get him right down. Good. Okay, animal. The fun's over. Bring Robin down here this minute. Okay. Yeah. No! no! Are you okay? Are you okay? Gee, 
He smiles just like me. <laughs> Doesn't he? I'll bet he kisses like you too, Kermie. Watch this, Robin. Hey, that's real good, Skeeter. Now see if you can do it, Robin. <laughs> say, if you can do a headstand, maybe you can play music, too. That's right. And they're all different, see? Not every frog can be a great piano player. Don't discourage him, Fozzie. He's only a baby. Piggy's right. If Robin practices, he could grow up to be good on any instrument he chooses. Right. Listen to this, Robin. Cha-cha-cha. If you want to learn to play like me, here's the secret, here's the key. I'm going to give you our philosophy. Come and listen to our song. Practice makes perfect. Practice makes perfect. You'll get it right. Then one day we know you'll play it perfect. Perfect! Beethoven, Brahms, and Bach. You know they practice round the clock. Nobody learned to play country or rock. out of his bowl. Let's make sure she doesn't. Right. We better get him back. Hurry! Hurry, Bear! Where'd he go? There he is. Yeah! He's slippery! He's getting away. He's in the toy drawer. Get him! It's time to go back in your bowl. Come out, come out, wherever you are. There he is! I'm gonna... Oh! He crawled right into the picture book! Oh, no! That book is 20,000 leagues under the sea. Gee, a story about an underwater bowling alley? Oh! oh sorry. Come on, Fuzzy. How are we gonna get him out of there? We'll do what we always do. We'll use our imaginations. Row, row, make the boat go. Row, row, make the boat go. She, you know, no matter how many times we do this, it always amazes me. Little Robin has to be around here somewhere. Tadpole Ho! I'm gonna jump in the We'll never get him now. Sure we will. Look! Why do I get the feeling these things were not designed for weirdos with long noses? Never mind that. Put a shell on your head. Boy, this thing sure is tight. Wow! Okay, guys, let's go! Hold it! Women and weirdos first! Where are you? Here, boy. Gee, he's got to be around here somewhere. Kermit, look! A submarine! Robin wouldn't be in there. 
Woody? It looks creepy to me. Creepy. Uh oh, it spotted us. And it's coming this way. Let's get out of here. Check in there. Do we have to? I'm not going in there. Listen, Kermit's the leader, and when he says we go, we go. Go ahead, Kermit. Uh, yeah, right. Oh, I love it when he's tough like that. I excuse me. What are you doing here? Us? Go on. Tell him, Kermit. You're the leader. I am? Oh, oh yeah. Uh, we're looking for my nephew, Robin. <clears throat> I mean, uh, Robin. Well, you needn't look any further. You mean uh, he, he, he's here? No, I mean you'll never leave this ship again. Oh. We're going on a long voyage. Uh, where exactly are we going, sir? Why, 20,000 leagues under the sea, of course. Oh, you're starting a bowling league too, huh? Come on, we gotta get out of here! Unbelievable, isn't it? This must be the way out! Oh, wrong again! Nope, that won't help either! What was that, Gonzo? Aw, oh, just a little pink submarine we could escape in! What? Let's go! Come on! I feel so good I could even stand one of Fuzzy's jokes. Hey guys, what has eight arms and lives at the bottom of the ocean? I don't know, Fuzzy. What? I don't know either, but it sure got big eyeballs. <laughs> Yay! It's got me! Don't let your imagination get the best of you, Scooter. What about Robin? Ow! Gee, how'd you do that, Skeeter? Easy as pie. Oh. And just in time. Hello, Hello Nanny. Well, I hope you all got to know Robin. Oh, we got to know him, Nanny, real well. That's right, Nanny. Bye-bye. You know, kids, next time Robin comes over, he should be big enough to come out of his bowl and play. Oh, boy. The next time he comes over, we're going to be in deep trouble, Uncle Kermit. <laughs> Gosh, relatives. <laughs> oh, gee. Oh, bye-bye.